But you're probably waiting for this one answer. Was it worth it? 2020, the first year I've lived as a music producer. And for the people that are aiming uh, to become an online music producer, like selling beats online, that kind of thing, it's like, whoa, he did that. This year was great. And it was horrible. So here is the story. I started preparing the business, the Votsu Beat as a brand in 2019. Until the end of 2019, I consider this like a practice. I've started making a little money, you know, just to maintain, but that wasn't a serious thing. I was aiming to do this seriously. Things started going better and better uh, since the January of 2020. I've managed to sell a few more beats, uh, I've managed to find more customers for mixing and mastering and the business was just about to start growing. Every next month in February, March, April, May, I was seeing just a bigger financial effect, more money, sometimes twice more than the previous month. In general, counting from the 2019 holiday, it took me eight months to start making enough money to maintain on my own from being a music producer, mixing and mastering guy, that kind of stuff. Is it a lot? Is it not? I don't know. I am satisfied with that kind of amount of time to become a full-time music producer. Did I did it? No. I was working uh, half-time in a music shop uh, in that time and I have decided to continue working. And I've told myself if I won't have enough time uh, to do the music thing, the, the, the engineering and beat making thing, I will quit the job. That was around March, April, something like that. But at the end of April, beginning of May, something like that, I don't really remember. You know, the situation um, in the world was changing rapidly because of, you know what, I don't want to say that because of the algorithm and I don't want this bar at the bottom of my video. So eventually I got fired. It sounds like really harsh, I got fired. But you know, uh, the shop just couldn't maintain on its own and uh, I thought I'm making enough money to maintain on my own so that wouldn't be that bad. You know, the shop just couldn't pay me and other employees so they had to, uh, you know, make some room. I don't feel angry at them or anything, we are still friends with the guys at the, at the music shop. In May 2020, I was on my own. I was a full-time music producer, living my life entirely out of my music uh, and out of making other people's music better. I was a little bit scared, but I was super excited. The, the thing I was dreaming about for most of my life came true. Making money on my own from what I like and what I like to do. In the meantime, I started growing this YouTube channel more and, you know, everything seemed to be like really, really good and I was aiming towards a good direction, I think. I've managed to go for a holiday, two weeks with a tent with my girlfriend and, you know, we were traveling across the Polish coast in the north of Poland. It was a great trip. The rest of the year was pretty good financially, except November and December, which were horrible. I don't know, maybe people don't make music at the end of the year. Uh, because they are saving for Christmas. I don't know. I finished some bigger projects in, in uh, November, so maybe that's the thing. I've, I've just, you know, some people just stopped paying me and that, that was the reason. So I'm, I'm looking for collaborations. I've also begun some uh, serious advertising campaigns in the United States, in Poland. You know, I was just, I'm just trying to grow this bigger and bigger. But you're probably waiting for this one answer. Was it worth it. As always, it depends. You know, in 2019, I've quit uh, the university to pursue my music dream, making money out of music. And it was a really stupid decision. I don't really know. I just did it. And it was like, I've managed to get this half-time job in the music store. I was making enough money to pay my rent for this flat right here, but I had to make the rest of the money out of the music. And I wasn't really making big money from music. Every week was a hassle. And that was my motivation. If I don't make at least a little money this week, I won't be able to eat something. Of course, it wasn't that hardcore. I had my girlfriend, I had friends, I had, you know, other people that could always help me. So there wouldn't be a situation where I don't have any food or, or anything. That would be just too ridiculous. But if I wanted to make normal groceries, if I wanted to fill my car with petrol, 
or anything like that. I had to make this money. I would do everything at this time. I would make a custom beats for a really low price. My mixing and mastering fees were much lower. But you know, I was just starting out. I didn't want it to uh, take a lot of money for everything because I wanted to attract a lot of customers quickly. Of course, in 2020, I was raising the prices. Everything was um, more expensive because I wanted to make more money. I was treating it more seriously. I was gaining more experience. I was doing it every day. And I've maintained this whole crazy year, the whole 2020. And now it's the beginning end of 2021. And I'm struggling with the money because I've spent everything on advertisements. And, you know, I'm trying to drive more customers. I'm trying to grow the brand. And it's a really hard moment for me, full of doubts if I should continue all of this because I haven't been selling beats for the past months really. I've earned much more or less money and I've just started doubting everything. If I should actually do it, do what I'm doing. If it doesn't bring me enough money to maintain on a normal level. Because there has been days in the last two months uh, where I didn't have the money to, to make the groceries. It was, it was a really unpleasant feeling. I've managed to, you know, pay the rent and everything, but that's all. So guys, if you want to buy any samples from me, if you want me to make some samples for you, or if you were, or if you, or if you are an artist and you need some mixing and mastering or some beats, uh, hit me up. I will give you a good discount. The website is in the description down below. And as I've said at the beginning, it was a really exciting year, and it was a little horrible year. And at this moment, my camera stopped working. I just wanted to sum everything up. Being an online music producer, especially in the early months of doing that kind of thing, is an endless work. It is not just putting beats out to the internet and waiting for money to come for those notifications from PayPal. It's lots of conversation, lots of changes in my life, as an example, lots of learning, and lots of fun that's that's the most important thing in in all of this hustle and all of this struggle i hope this year will be much better and i will put all my power together to to make this happen to grow this channel to grow the business um, and yeah see you in the next videos